Have you ever looked at a map and wondered why planes don't fly in straight lines? It seems logical that the shortest distance between two points would be a straight line, right? But if you've ever tracked a flight path, you'll notice that planes often take longer curved routes instead. This might seem counterintuitive at first glance. Why would airlines choose to fly longer distances using more fuel and time? The answer lies in the complex nature of our planet and the various factors that influence flight paths. One major factor is the curvature of the Earth. What appears as a straight line on a flat map is actually a curved line on the globe. Additionally, planes often take advantage of wind patterns, such as the jet streams, which can significantly reduce travel time and fuel consumption. Weather systems also play a crucial role. Pilots must navigate around storms, turbulence, and other adverse weather conditions to ensure a safe and smooth flight. Furthermore, restricted airspaces, such as military zones, require planes to take detours, adding to the complexity of flight planning. Some regions of the world present more challenges than others. One such area is the Tibetan Plateau. Known as the Roof of the World, the Tibetan Plateau is a massive high-altitude region in Asia. Its extreme elevation and harsh weather conditions make it particularly challenging for aircraft. The high altitude means thinner air, which can affect engine performance and aerodynamics, while the unpredictable weather can pose significant risks. These factors make it difficult and risky for commercial airplanes to fly over the Tibetan Plateau. As a result, airlines often choose to avoid this region altogether, opting for safer, albeit longer, routes. Let's explore why planes tend to avoid the skies above Tibet. Tibet is known for its stunning landscapes and towering mountains. This region, often referred to as the Roof of the World, is home to some of the most breathtaking and challenging terrains on the planet. The vast expanse of the Tibetan Plateau stretches out like a natural fortress with its rugged beauty and formidable peaks. Mount Everest, the highest point on Earth, sits on the edge of the Tibetan Plateau. This iconic mountain standing at 8,848 meters or 29,029 feet is a testament to the sheer scale and majesty of the region. Climbers from around the world are drawn to its challenging slopes, seeking to conquer its summit. The average altitude of the plateau is over 4,500 meters or 14,800 feet above sea level. This makes it one of the highest regions on Earth with an environment that is both harsh and awe-inspiring. The thin air and extreme conditions test the limits of human endurance and adaptability. This extreme altitude poses significant challenges for aircraft. Pilots must navigate through unpredictable weather patterns and turbulent air currents, making every flight a test of skill and precision. The high-altitude landscape requires specialized equipment and training to ensure safe passage. The air at higher altitudes is much thinner than at sea level. This thin atmosphere means that there is less oxygen available, which can affect both human and mechanical performance. The clear skies, while beautiful, hide the challenges that come with such an environment. This means there are fewer oxygen molecules per unit of volume. For humans, this can lead to altitude sickness and other health issues. For aircraft it means engines must work harder to produce the same amount of power and pilots must be vigilant in monitoring their systems. For planes this thin air affects their ability to generate lift. Lift is crucial for keeping the aircraft aloft and in thin air, it becomes more challenging to achieve. Pilots must adjust their techniques and rely on their training to manage these conditions effectively. Lift is the force that keeps a plane in the air. It is generated by the movement of air over the wings, and in high-altitude environments, this process is less efficient. Understanding the principles of lift and how to maximize it is essential for safe flight in these regions. Planes need to travel faster at higher altitudes to generate enough lift. This increased speed helps to compensate for the thinner air, allowing the aircraft to maintain altitude and stability. Pilots must carefully balance speed and control to ensure a smooth and safe journey through the skies of Tibet. The thin air over Tibet creates a difficult situation for planes, they must maintain a certain speed to stay airborne. This speed is called the stall speed. At high altitudes the stall speed increases because of the thin air. This means planes need to fly faster to avoid stalling. Flying faster requires more fuel. This makes flights over Tibet less fuel efficient. Airlines avoid these routes to save money. Additionally the engines have to work harder in the thin air. This can lead to increased wear and tear.
Section 5. A Sea of Mountains. The Scarcity of Emergency Landing Options. Another crucial factor that makes flying over Tibet risky is the lack of suitable emergency landing sites. The region's topography is dominated by towering peaks and deep valleys, making it extremely challenging to find a flat area for an emergency landing. The region is a vast expanse of mountains and high-altitude plateaus. These natural formations create a breathtaking yet perilous environment for aviation. This leaves very few options for a pilot to land safely in case of an emergency. The scarcity of flat terrain means that pilots must be exceptionally skilled and prepared to handle any unexpected situations that may arise. In aviation, safety is paramount. Pilots undergo rigorous training to ensure they can manage emergencies effectively. Pilots need to be prepared for any situation. This includes being able to make quick decisions and execute emergency protocols flawlessly. The lack of emergency landing sites in Tibet adds a significant risk to any flight path passing over it. Pilots must constantly be aware of their surroundings and potential hazards. A mechanical issue or sudden weather change could leave a plane with very few options for a safe landing. The unpredictable nature of the weather in this region further complicates the situation, making it essential for pilots to be vigilant and well-prepared at all times. Section 6. Holding your breath. The perils of rapid descent. The extreme altitude of the Tibetan plateau presents another challenge the need for rapid descent in emergencies. If a problem arises such as a loss of cabin pressure, pilots must descend quickly to a lower altitude where the air is denser and breathable. However, the mountainous terrain of Tibet makes a rapid descent very difficult. Descending quickly through the valleys and passes could be dangerous. It might increase the risk of colliding with the terrain. This risk is a major concern for airlines and pilots. Section 7. Silent Skies Limited Air Traffic Control Over Tibet Finally, the limited air traffic control infrastructure over Tibet is another reason why planes avoid the region. Air traffic control plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety of flights. Controllers on the ground monitor planes in the air. They provide guidance and instructions to pilots. The remote location and challenging terrain of Tibet make it difficult to establish and maintain reliable air traffic control coverage. While some air traffic control services are available, they are limited compared to other areas. This lack of consistent communication and guidance further increases the risks associated with flying over Tibet. Conclusion Why Planes Avoid the Tibetan Plateau In conclusion, several compelling reasons explain why planes generally avoid flying over Tibet. The extreme altitude, thin air, unpredictable weather, lack of emergency landing sites, rapid descent challenges, and limited air traffic control infrastructure all contribute to the risks associated with such flight paths. While the views from above the Tibetan Plateau might be breathtaking, the safety and logistical challenges make it a no-fly zone for most commercial airlines.